Good morning YouTube. I thought I'd do an update because I've had a few things move and I've changed a few things so I um, just thought I'd have a catch up. So as you can see the stands are looking um, a bit barer because um, I've had some plants moved outside but I've kept all the Phalaenopsis in here and just one Oncidium that's um, still in spike. So I've left it in here to enjoy the flowers. Um, so as you can see all the fowls are doing okay. Um, some of them are going over obviously dropping some of their blooms but all in all they're all doing pretty good. Um, I've had a couple of new ones as well. Um, those two there are new um, and they have got names on some of them can't reach the um, labels at the moment. Um, the existing fowls I had are still blooming. Um, some of the spikes are, you know, like I say, going over now. Um, this yellow one's fairly new, it's doing well. And then the others here, going along to um, this lovely lemon, pale lemon one on the end, which is uh, all doing good. And then I've got all my little mini gardens on that shelf, mini succulent and air plant gardens. And then down there I've got some more fowls. Um, let's get down there a bit. It's a bit quite dark. Sorry, it's a bit dark down here. Um, I've pulled the blinds down. Another reason I moved the plants, some of them outside, is because they were getting um, damaged. I think I was giving them too much sun. If you see the leaf on that Phalaenopsis, I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and get it out so you can see it a bit better. But it's got proper crisscross burning which is from where it was coming through that shade cloth out there. So obviously the sun, you see the pattern of the shade cloth on it? So that was oh my god moment and um, so I moved the others and I've actually moved it around and I now pull, I don't know if you can see there but I've got blinds, I've pulled the blinds down behind to stop um, any more sunburn. Um, the plant itself, you know, it's doing all right. I mean, the blooms are doing fine, but uh, yeah, I've ruined that leaf. Never mind. Um, the other thing that I've changed is on the end here, you'll see my vandas. I've actually put them now in um, full water culture. I mean, the water needs changing. Um, that one's doing okay. This one's quite yellowy. Turn it around. This is the one that had the spike, and I decided to cut off the spike. And I see that the spike is actually dying back there. You see it. So I shall cut the remaining spike down. But um, I've got them down low because I want to give them more light because I know they need more light. But they're doing okay. The roots aren't fantastic, but you know, they're still. <laughs> They're still alive, so we'll see how we go with them. So I'll go outside now and I'll show you um, where I've put the other species. So here we are. Um, this is our spa pool area. And we call it the shade house because it gets quite a bit of shade. And I've put, brought a table in here and I've moved all the other species of orchids out here. They do get a bit of morning sun and um, I'm hoping that they're not going to get too much sun but I know Cattleyas need a bit more so I'm sort of trying to I don't know, trying to get a happy medium really where I'm giving them enough light but not too much light um, and it's quite difficult to pick a nice area for them um, but anyway, they, they all seem to be doing okay. Some of them have got some nice new shoots coming up. Um, like this Cattleya here. You see, 
get a focus. It's a nice new shoot there. And there's a couple of other new shoots coming up. And I also unmounted um, two plants. Um, one of them was this dendrobium. It was on bark and I don't know, it just never seemed to be very happy. Um, as you can see, it's producing kikis at the top. And then when I unmounted it, I realised that it's produced one at the bottom. Um, so, just in there, you see it's red. And it, I don't know, it, it does seem to be happier back in bark. I will put some moss along the top like I've done with all the others. Because um, I think they look a bit more attractive. Um, but yes, they do seem to be happier out here. Um, the other one I unmounted was, um, was an Oncidium, I believe. I think it was one of these. Yes, it was that one back there. This one here. That was on a bark mount as well. And it didn't, that one didn't seem to be so happy either. So I, I unmounted that one and put it in the bark um, with just a layer of moss on the top just to keep a bit of moisture in but um, it seems to be okay it's got nice aerial roots so we'll see how that goes um, the other I've just got this new one here the other day which is quite an attractive flower it's a very pale very pale lilac no smell and that is the um, what it is focus there we go so um, yeah I'm very happy with that one it's a very pretty little plant it's uh, healthy looking and um, it was in bud and the bud survived the journey so I'm very happy with that one so there you go so that's all the the plants at the moment where we are at the moment with them I am now um, watering them twice a week because uh, it's quite warm here today it's, there you go, there's 24.5 and it's only in the morning it's only oh, what is it, it's 10 o'clock I don't know if you can see the clock up there no, it's not focusing, it's too too dark up there um, but it's 10 o'clock in the morning the humidity is a bit low but I do spray them regularly I spray them with a very weak solution of orchid food um, so they get that at least twice a day minimum twice a day so they're doing alright and while we're here I thought I'd have a catch up on um, the cymbidiums that I've got because I haven't filmed them for a while so I'll just walk around there and show you um, what's happening with those so here we are with the cymbidiums. Um, these are the ones I've purchased from a local um, nursery that does a lot of cymbidiums. And I'm very happy with them. They've all got new shoots coming. So you can see one there. Um, there's a new one just coming up there. There's a new one back there. Um, that one's just had a new one come up. And that one back there has got a new one come up. So they're, they're all doing really well. They're, they're quite a yellowy green, which is supposed to be um, good um, because they get morning sun. The sun comes through up there and then they get late afternoon sun. So they don't, they're not in the heat of the day. So they're all doing exceptionally well and I'm pleased with those. I may pot them in um, some clay pots with the holes in. I'm not sure, but I, I won't be doing that until next year now because I don't want to disturb them again. The ones that my husband bought from uh, a grower that does the cut flowers, and he bought some of his old pan plants, sorry, they're not doing, they're doing okay. I mean, they've got some new shoots. That one's a new shoot. Uh, if you see some bulbs there, I've got some shoots coming up. Um, but they're... They're doing all right, but they are scruffy looking plants, so I'll see how they go. If not, I'm really pleased because all the old bulbs we took off, if you look, can you see them? We kept them. That was my husband because I was going to throw them away. But you can see all the little green shoots 
not that, that's a weed, but the rest of them, all the little shoots, so I've got one, two, three, four, five shoots coming up on that group, six actually on that group, and I've got one or two shoots coming up on that group, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really on this one down there on that old one, that old cranky old bug, but there's a shoot coming there. So I'm going to plant those up, um, so I'm really pleased with that. Keep it, I'm glad we kept the old bulbs. Um, so yeah, so that's all the update where we are at the moment. Um, any other changes, I'll keep you posted. Um, and thank you for watching, and catch up with you later. Goodbye.